Okay, guys, so let's do a little bit technical work. So then our dancing, we have a little bit more actions, a little bit more freedom to move. So we need to understand a certain elements when we move. If you follow this uh, instructions inside your choreography, your body will have a little bit more flexibility. So let's just do a little bit technical explanation. If you work on rumba walk, it's the key to open a door for beautiful dancing. So we're gonna get to rumba walk and uh, just get a little bit in depth of the three small elements. So let's put your weight uh, this way, uh, the right foot. Uh, it's a right leg is a standing leg, left foot free. Now from here, what we're gonna do before we'll step, we just release our hip to the, uh, release our weight to the hip. That's number one thing what we do, that's famous Cuban motion compression. And you don't really need squeeze too hard, just release. So just before that, uh, before we do anything, we just release into our hip. Already, as a good beginning. Now next, it's very, very important to remember that most of steps you're gonna do in every dance will have a split weight position. So we're gonna take a step and our weight must arrive halfway, halfway. Don't arrive too far forward because you're gonna feel falling, uh, feeling like you're falling over or don't just point because it's gonna be way too delayed. So we have to understand that every step, most of the step will have a split weight position. Uh, so two heels down, just for exercise, just two heels down. So to feel what it means split weight position. So if you draw, a, you see this red line on my pants, if you imagine a red line on my body, see my body right in between my legs. So this is my body weight over my front leg. This is my body weight over my back leg. So split weight position, body weight is in between. So we release, release our weight, body weight in between. Now, by having a of course, when you dance, you cannot have like 50-50 exactly, but sort of split weight position, you will have a chance to produce those famous actions. So like once you arrive here, just focus on these two points on your body is your rib cage, which is here and your opposite hip. And now imagine like those two points, we're going to stretch away from each other. So the hip will go back and chest will go forward and same time by using this motion we're going to complete our weight 100 percent to the front leg so let's go let's call it stretch 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 so one more time so we have to before we dance anything we release our weight then we have a we take a step hopefully in a split position don't go too far forward don't go don't delay too much and now from here this is what you really want to do it's your body action so we're going to stretch Sometimes I just say people focus on the rib case. Sometimes I say few people send your hip back. But in fact, it's actually two motions together. So we stretch, 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 stretch in the body. So immediately when I arrive from here, maybe, you know, my body is, you know, not as much action, just, you know, quite flat. But here when the transfer weight, I immediately have that beautiful action that stretch in your body. So you have a hip which is rotates back and finishing this leg. And you have that strong rib cage this we call magic button button here you create this button and now from here happens the most fun you're gonna press this button and this button will activate the hip and then we go back to the neutral okay so you go release and split weight position and now stretch 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 and now here this is we prepare ourselves to create a beautiful action. So you're gonna just press this in, and by pressing your rib cage, this button, it activates your hip, and the hip activates uh, your leg. And then now you're in the same position as we start. And now from here again, we take a leg, we take a step in a split weight position. Now we stretch, 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 stretch. What does it mean stretch? It's this diagonal line where your hip going back, chest going forward. You know, I bet all the teachers, you know, say rib cage forward hip action so this is we put it in one small formula very simple and then you press here to activate your hip one we'll press here activate and we go step stretch 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 button step and it's very important to keep your step in a split weight because uh, what will happen if i don't have a split weight position which is most of uh, even like on the high level uh, dancers forget to do they get on the leg too soon, and then they, when they stretch, already feel like you don't have balance, you're falling over. But if you step more or less 
uh, split weight. You will later, when you practice, you will understand how to do it just by basically connecting to your standing leg a little bit longer. Just keep you more or less in between. Then you have chance to stretch, stretch, stretch. And then the most fun, that's what you want to do the most. It's to use this magic button, rib cage, hip to activate. There we have a step, stretch, action. Step, which means split weight, stretch, action. So if you do a little bit faster, if I, of course, combine that together, it's just going to look like you, I have a lot of actions, but actually in a way you have to practice separating. Let's go just a little bit faster. And two and a uh, three and a uh, four one. So on for a number I'm stretching. On end, I'm pressing my button. On a, uh, hip goes back, connect. Two and a uh, thirty and a uh, four one and a. Uh. So by knowing this, uh, how this information can help us. Let's say, let's take, let's say uh, this um, simple rumba basic or cha-cha basic. It doesn't matter. Like rumba is a little bit easier to explain because it's slower. So by knowing this formula, now if you have to go side, we know we have to release weight. Now we have to take a step, split weight position. The next we stretch, stretch, stretch. So we already have that beautiful line. And now the most fun, we're gonna press your rib cage to activate the hip to go to the next step. The same here, you have a check forward walk. So that you don't need even to know what is check. Just use the same formula, step, split weight, stretch, stretch, stretch. Now press the button to return. Now, okay, backward, uh, I need later to explain, is it, it's gonna take longer, but it's similar idea. A little bit more difficult to understand. So you go, you split weight. Now you stretch, stretch, stretch on this line. And now you press magic button to collect. Now again, side here. We're not gonna go right away, of course. We do a split weight position. We have a stretch, 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 stretch. Now we have this beautiful action. Now you're ready to activate your button. Whoa, that's the most important. Now backward, same concept, just a little bit reverse uh, lines. So you step, split weight position. Now you don't change right away, even though sometimes uh, I change, but like as a basic, you're gonna stretch this line and now you press this button, that's when the change happened. The same here, if I wanna replace forward, my leg already there, so what do I do? I put my heel down, create a split weight position, stretch, 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 press magic button. And now with the count, four and one, and two is a happening stretch, and magic button, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and. And this you can apply to any step, any routine. Even you do jive, you can do the same ideas. So remember, there is always a step, there is always stretch, there is always pressing button. Then go through your routine, find these elements. Okay. Thank you guys for helping.